So this just happened and um, I'm sharing it because I thought that it might speak to some of you and I would be so interested in what you have to uh, offer about this. So I had a situation where um, an acquaintance had said to me, um, I am going to be contacting you about something just so awesome that happened. And I said, okay, this is a person I had vested a lot of uh, energies into. So I was like, yeah, okay, sounds good. And um, I waited and waited and this person never contacted me. And I don't chase after people. She's the one who said she was going to contact me. So I let it be. Well, um, I just heard from somebody else that she's gone and told all these other people about this particular situation that happened and still hasn't reached out to me. And in that moment that this happened just a little while ago, I think it opens this way. Yeah, good. Um, I realized that I had a choice, okay? I could, I could choose to start ranting and being like, how dare she? I can't believe she did this and start um, distracting myself from actually feeling whatever it is that I was feeling. Because ranting and creating a story around something is just distraction from the work at hand, okay? Ranting and creating a story around the feelings that you're choosing not to feel is a distraction from choosing your feelings, from choosing to feel the feelings. So immediately I thought, okay, I am just going to allow the experience of betrayal, the experience of rejection to flow through me. I literally could feel the energies flowing like from left to right, which is interesting because the left is the receiving side, the right is the pouring out side. So I could feel those energies like a wave come through me, through my person, through my being and leave. And it took about 10 seconds. And in the meantime, I completely brought all of my energies from here down into the area right below my belly button and above my groin, where my energies lodge in, where they ground in. And I allowed myself in that very moment to really feel what I was feeling. And it took like about 10 seconds. In the meantime, my mind wasn't busy saying, oh, you know what? She's a blah, 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 witch or a not a nice person or I must be just a piece of dirt. I wasn't busy creating a story. When the emotions passed through, I felt no need to create a story. I realized that I had just had an experience because of something that had happened in my life, but I didn't have to create a story around it. I could just experience the emotions that were happening at that moment. <clears throat> so I hope this helps some of you. Unlike this right here, yesterday I was playing tennis with my son and I hit my own self with my racket. <laughs> it kind of hurt and this morning I woke up with a shiner. So, uh, I would love if you left your comments below, share, subscribe, and I hope that this has been helpful for you to help you remember who you are as the experiencer. You are the I am presence incarnate into a physical being. You are God consciousness, unity consciousness, Christ consciousness, come into physical form to experience itself so that it can keep expanding and expanding and expanding. Have a great day, everybody.